Hi, Aquarius. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I want to say that the reason I didn't get your video out sooner, um, <laughs> I have a lot going on in my life. I work seven days a week and um, I have to do that first. So, you know, readings, while I love doing them, they come when I'm ready to. When So, you know, I'm sorry if that's offensive to some people, but I have to take care of myself first. And nobody's paying me for these readings. These are free readings to the public. For those of you who donate, I very much appreciate it. I really do. Um, but I need people to know that I have a life that's completely other than this. So, anyways, let's get into your reading. Okay. Two cards popping out first are the um, King of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> so, first of all, this is um, this is an energy basically where we are well. A lot of pain is happening here. A lot of pain, a lot of neglect. There is emotional disruption. Um, it could be the ending of a relationship. You have the eight of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. People are not willing to put any more effort into this situation. Um, <clears throat> a definite love connection is being kind of squashed. Um, somebody that you may be dealing with, Aquarius, can be very distant, very um, cold cutting. Somebody may be very... Um, just emotionally unavailable, not communicative, you know. This can also be a situation where we've once experienced love with somebody and it went to bits, you know. It, somebody, like, shut down and became quiet, stopped giving their energy to a situation, and it went to the wayside. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> You have the Five of Pentacles here. This is talking about somebody wanting to come back, somebody wanting to figure things out. Um, I need, I've been, I, that's what I want. I want to smell good and I want to feel good. And I picked that perfume <clears throat> to bring here because I felt like I needed to spray myself right now. <laughs> Um, before I started, I felt like, I don't know, there was like a heaviness that like only things like I, I deal with fragrance and scent and it lifts my spirit. I don't know. I felt heavy. Um, this energy is talking about somebody wanting to come back, somebody wanting to, I don't know if they want to rehash things, but things wanting to be explained. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody may have been very, yeah. Wanting to come back, reconciliation, communication, want somebody wanting to communicate what's going on in their lives. Now, this may be a situation where somebody um, cuts you out. You know, there may have been a considerable amount of attraction between the two of you. There may have been a, a bond of love that may have been created, but something here shut out. Somebody may have also shut down this person. <clears throat> when they're not a complete asshole, they also are very, they don't know how to communicate their feelings. Aquarius. They don't know how to open themselves up. Um, <clears throat> and when that happens, it can basically tear relationships apart, you know? So let's keep going here. Okay. You have the three of wands in reverse in consideration to this. Um, it feels like somebody gave up, you know, it feels like people gave up. Now we're reevaluating the situation. Now we're figuring out if we want to re-engage in this. <clears throat> this person has taken forever either to communicate or to make sense of themselves. Some people, um, I want to say that some people, when they... When they haven't experienced love in many ways, um, or they've just been cut off emotionally in many ways, when they find somebody who actually like ignites like everything on every level for the majority of the what I mean, 
it, it's, it can be terrifying for some people. It can be emotionally disruptive because it, it takes them out of what they're used to. It takes them out of their comfort zone. Okay. So, yeah. Here we are again. Somebody really looking at this situation. They may have been away for a while. They may have shut you out, Aquarius, <clears throat> with this Four of uh, Swords. But now we have the Seven of Pentacles. This person is reevaluating the situation. Okay? This person is reevaluating the situation. They, I feel like there's a distance. I feel like there's a gap here we don't have people working together i think that this is what they're they're looking at you know um and it's it's causing a fair amount of imbalance in their life it feels also with the knight of pentacles it's almost as if how do i gain your trust how do i communicate my feelings so it's effective it doesn't come off shitty but then like it's meaningful how do i up my game how do i make sure that this situation is communicated in a way that makes things healthy it it, it frees up the past energy what's in the overhead okay okay so we have the six of pentacles in reverse the three of uh, cups and we've got the knight of swords so, you know, it's somebody coming in very, very quickly. They may need to communicate here. We've got the we've got the judgment card um, <clears throat> and the five of pentacles in reverse. You know, it's interesting because it's almost as if somebody needs to talk to you about what they've been up to. Um, you know, it, sometimes people get involved with others when they're playing. And <clears throat> I know, God, this almost sounds like this almost sounds like I'm a sympathizer. Um, sometimes people get involved with people when they're playing, when they're in their sexual phases, when they're sowing their oats <clears throat> and they're not ready to commit. They're not ready to take something to a higher level of commitment. They're, they're still dipping their toes, you know, especially if somebody is coming from a place of emotional immaturity in regard to love. First of all, they don't have the background in love. Um, it's new to them more than likely they're just dicking around putting it in whatever they can um, or taking it wherever they can depending upon what you know what you're into <clears throat> or who you are but you know it, it's almost as if this situation it's like if this is the case for some of you it may not be this person may just want to talk about what they've been up to um, but this may also be wanting to, if this may be somebody wanting to address a situation where you may have been um, somebody that was not necessarily of um, huge, I don't want to say significance or importance, but like at that particular time when you were with this person, it's like, it's like they had other options. They had other things going on. You were something fun or they were something fun, but <clears throat> it didn't really go anywhere. This person may have been giving to too many people. You know, you have the six of pentacles here in reverse with the three of cups. This talks about people, multiple partners, potentially giving to too many people, you know, and now it's like the whole situation is out of balance and somebody wants to address it. Somebody wants to communicate about it and get to the bottom of things. Um, but you know what, if you are somebody who is cut off, emotionally frustrated, not able to communicate your feelings, this can be very difficult, especially if you kind of ended up doing somebody wrong and dirty, you know? So that may be why this has taken so long to get here. That may be why this has taken so long to, you know, come around. And we do have these retrograde energies right now that are out there for us, so... I want to mention that just because retrogrades tend to bring people back. Retrogrades tend to cause folks to go within themselves and feel the the situation, feel their life out, you know, feel the people that they left, you know, feel the people that they've had in their lives. Like, how do I resonate with these people? How do I, how do I bring this back? So let's go ahead and clarify. Ooh, yeah. How do I bring this back? This is somebody wanting to come back, okay? After a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, a lot of endings. This is endings. They may have ended a situation in their life. They may, ooh, yes. 
Okay, so, okay. So first of all, I'll get into this right now. We have the death card and we have the um, ten of swords. <clears throat> this is endings. Both are endings, okay, Aquarius? Maybe dealing with the Scorpio. You don't have to be. Um, this is transformation, though. It's transformational energy. Somebody here may be wanting to communicate what they actually feel for you. And, you know, it's taken people, it's taken a person a while to figure out what they want, it feels like. Um, here we have the Tower with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups in reverse. So the Seven of Swords being in the center with the Ten of, um, I'm sorry, with the Tower, um, whatever they were up to in the past, we've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Ten of Swords, we've got the Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is almost as if like somebody was, you know, either they were playing the field and they just really didn't care about you. They discarded you and it just felt terrible. Um, and now they want to communicate things. Now they want back in and they want to release this energy of frustration. They want to release this energy of woe, worry. They want to release this energy of regret. I feel that this person really does feel some regret here, Aquarius. <clears throat> yeah, man. So you have the Page of Cups with the Two of Wands. This is somebody wanting to communicate with you. They may want to apologize to you and figure out a direction in which to take this. Can we choose a new direction? Are you still available for me to try this with again? Will you please trust me? That's the energy that I'm picking up. Here we have the Hermit with the Temperance card. <clears throat> Um, looking into how they can balance things out, seeing if you are open to balancing energy out. This, you know, I feel that this person has had an awakening in certain ways, a transformation, and it was fueled by pain. It's been fueled by guilt. And now they want to come forth and start something here. Um, the energy here is somebody... Uh, the energy here is somebody seeking forgiveness. That's what I feel. We have the hangman in reverse <clears throat> with, you have like tons of major, kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven right now. Either way, that's plenty. This is huge changes, huge life changes. And with the types of major arcana, I feel very, very deep, like, like somebody's growing, like somebody's growing and they feel like shit. You know, in most of my readings, I'm like, no, don't do it. And for this one, I, I feel that somebody is looking at what they've done here. I feel that somebody's looking at what they've done, the options that they've had, the choices that they've made. And I feel that there's a fair amount of guilt. I feel that they recognize the heartbreak and frustration that they've caused, but now they are the ones feeling it. They are in mourning. They're in regret. And they're trying to open up here and pick a new direction with you. But the thing is, I think it's very difficult for this person to communicate because they feel that they're at a loss. I feel that they aren't. I feel that they may think that they're not good enough. I feel that they may think that they haven't grown enough or you're not going to trust them. And you very well may not. I mean, that there's no guarantee. This is a general reading for thousands of people, you know, so it's not going to fit everybody's situation. But for those of you that it makes sense, um, this person may be dealing with an emotional growth spurt, a growth spurt in love, like, how we effectively show up in love and how we care for the ones that we love and how we let them know we love them. So, yeah. <clears throat> show me the two of cups in reverse. All right. Two of cups in reverse. We have the king of pentacles with the fool. <clears throat> So this person here, two of cups, king of pentacles, full. Um, this person wants to mend this. They're showing up stronger in their life. They're showing up as more stable. Um, 
And the thing about this card, though, the King of Pentacles, a lot of the time it talks about somebody who's very superficial. It talks about somebody who may have um, taken experiences over love, you know, like how much can I get? How many, you know, how many, how many chicks can I bang? Like how many, oh God, that's vulgar. I'm not going to say that, but you know, how many guys can I sleep with? Like that kind of energy, like it's almost like a, a notch in their belt type of energy here, which I feel that that's the energy that they're coming from. But what I'm feeling is changed now, Aquarius, is that this person has matured, you know, in consideration to everything here, we have this knight who may have taken a long time to figure out what his heart wants. And now we have the evolution. Now we have the progression. Now we have the self-awareness of how we affect people in relationships. <clears throat> And then the fool. This is talking about transformation. Death must happen first, and then the fool. See where you have the fool? This is in his past. It's leaving. So this is talking about growth. It's talking about rebirth, transformation, um, yeah, initiation, but initiation within yourself, you know, or this person within themselves, um, trusting. And I think that this is a difficult situation for them to communicate because they almost feel infantile. They feel stupid, um, you know, because it's like, how do you, how do you, um, how do you not recognize somebody that you love? You know, it's almost as if like you or they were a commodity of some sort, and easy come, easy go, whatever. And then like down the line, it's like, oh, oopie, I think I made a mistake, you know? Show me the king of swords. So you have the queen of pentacles in regard to the king of swords in reverse. So they're both in reverse. These are two people not seeing eye to eye here. Now that we're showing up, we may want this it's like we see things progressing we want to change stuff but here the queen even if upright she's still got his, her back to him like it's 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 like impenetrable armor is what i'm feeling um i'm feeling you know and sure it may be that the king of swords in the past may have been dealing with an earth sign um an earth sign female but what I'm feeling is more so here, like what they're wanting now is a connection, a communion, two people on the same page, on the same path, stable. You know, <clears throat> I'm not one to give readings where it's fluff and la la. You know that about me. Um, if you don't know that about me, you do now. <clears throat> but this reading feels like somebody's growing. It feels like they're learning things about themselves. It feels like they're learning um, through pain, through hurt, through indecisiveness. And, um, you know, being stupid. Being stupid. Okay, show me the Eight of Cups here for Aquarius. My hands are so dry. Show me the Eight of Cups. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse with the Five of Wands in reverse. First of all, this person wants to release conflict here. They want to let things go. I feel that what they're offering, they feel like you, it's not enough for you. They feel like what they want to give you is not enough. <clears throat> if anything, there may be a delay. Should be more for the curious. So... You have the um, devil with the nine of cups, the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. So, uh, so this must be a very incredible bond with this person. Um, there may have been a considerable amount of passion between the two of you. It doesn't have to be, but that's what it feels like. Um, you know, but I think it's more so to addressing like that type of behavior, addressing that type of connection. Like if you are to go back in this Aquarius, like I think it needs to be like point blank evident to them that this devil behavior, it ruins what you want. It goes out of 
it 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 ruins what you want it um it's not something that you can build a relationship on when you have two people and one of them is working against the other by just being um a penis like or or you know a vagina like you know just going all over town and giving it to everybody else you know it's like i think it's important here for you to address that this type of behavior is entirely toxic. This type of behavior does not work for you. And I feel that they recognize that. I'm going to um, clarify. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify the devil. But, you know, we have the Ace of Cups here. It's like this person, I feel, has a fair amount of regret. They have a fair amount of love. I feel that being um, in this situation has taught them to appreciate what they have and who they have and, you know, what they've left. Show me the devil. So for the devil, you have the nine of pentacles in reverse. This person wants back in and they're scared. They're very, very scared. They're worried that what they have for you is not enough. They feel very infantile. And they want to communicate about this situation. They want to stabilize this situation. Okay. Um, I think they're scared. I think they are beating themselves up. And you know what? I think you might let them feel the heat for a little bit. And that's fair. Nothing wrong with that. So. Show me... Show me what lies between the king and queen of pentacles. From this point on, what lies between the king and queen of pentacles? The sun in reverse. Oy. So the sun in reverse talks about things not being communicated, information not being communicated, um, people still being left out in the dark, um, not having a sense of belonging um, somebody that may feel worthless in regard to you. Um, <sighs> clarify this one. You know, the Ten of Pentacles with the Fool in reverse, both of them in reverse with the Sun, who's at the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Um, it's, this is a hard decision to make here. <clears throat> you know, this is a hard decision to make here, but it feels like this is a no-go type of situation. Now, I feel, I feel like I'm more, my energy is more so sympathizing with this person. And I feel it's because of the growth. I feel that, I don't know, I just feel like a heavy level of remorse or something, like a sadness that's eaten them quite a bit. And to be able to communicate about it feels <clears throat> feels like it's taken heaven and hell to move them to, to communicate for them to even like look at themselves, you know, but let's remember now she came out in reverse. So if you're the female aspect of this duo, you may already be like, uh, uh, you may already see that this situation in the past didn't bring you stability and you may feel that it doesn't bring you stability now. Um, just because somebody's back doesn't mean that they are for you. You know, sometimes we grow with people. It doesn't mean that we have to stay with them forever. Some of us want to, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to. It's really important here to evaluate your past with this person, to evaluate your current energy now with yourself, or if you're with a new partner... To evaluate that. How does it match up? How does it stack up? Does this situation bring you balance? Are you easy? Are you happy and healthy minded in this? Or does this cause you conflict? Does it cause you emotional distress and anxiety? Those are things that need to be addressed here. Going back into this situation, does it cause you to negate yourself? Does it cause you to lie to yourself and deceive yourself? Okay. Show me the um, full in reverse. Yeah, this brings balance. I, I'm sorry, imbalance. It's imbalanced. 
you're not moving with this because it's not balanced. God, I, you know, I feel bad for this person. Like I do. I feel bad for this person. Um, but this is a lesson too. You know, everything in life is lessons. It's, it's not roses and daisies. Like when you, when you do shit that's terrible or just really neglectful and hurtful and you know you treat people poorly you pay the price you really do and I think I'm more so compassionate here with this person because I feel like they have grown but it doesn't seem like it's matching up to what you're needing Aquarius okay um you have communication here coming in this person may call you this person may email you I think it's more than a text um, you know, but this situation doesn't provide stability for you here. Mm -mm. So let's go ahead and get, um, an Oracle card. I've been using this deck. It's called the Nocturna. I love this deck. I got it for my birthday. It is, um, all hand painted. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's shuffle for you. Show me energies present for Aquarius, please. Connect with this reading for Aquarius. Aquarius. Three, 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 three. Okay. perfume. I love this stuff. This is, I love it. It's so lovely. Show me for Aquarius. Okay. Somebody else got this card, Aquarius, I believe. I can't remember who. It's Ocelot. Ocelot. These are all hand-painted. I love these cards. They're great. Ocelot. <clears throat> Balance. Vision. Distance. Solitude. The ocelot is a small nocturnal cat that can move through the branches and brush of the jungle with ease. It is territorial, solitary, and non-confrontational, and because of its camouflage coat, incredibly hard to spot. <clears throat> The ocelot reminds us that sometimes it's okay to disappear, to break away from a situation and find healing in solitude. As with any other cat, it is also associated with vision and symbolic of the unseen. So if you're having a difficulty here, Aquarius, leaving this person, letting it go, I think it's important for you to look within what is unseen. I think it's important for you to look out there, what has not yet been seen in your life, but what feels like it's ready, what feels like it's coming. Um, you know, Aquarius, it's difficult sometimes to let go of things, um, you know, and I think here I'm feeling like um, it's important to exercise a level of compassion if you're able to for this person. Um, I think this person is experiencing this on a level that is really shaking them. And it feels to me like this person is having a very, very deep transformation here. But I don't think that you feel that it's um, the alignment isn't there. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like you are not of the mindset that this is workable for you no longer it doesn't mean that you don't care about them it doesn't mean that you don't love them it doesn't mean that you wish them harm or ill will <clears throat> on the contrary it, it's almost like good I'm glad to see you grow grow I'm glad to see you grow and I'm glad to see you go you know so yeah all right Aquarius again I'm sorry for the late reading it's just been crazy on my end um I love you. I hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.